Hey everybody, it's Mike A here, that card guy. Just got a big box of items back from JSA All Authenticated, and I want to go through you through with you and let you know what items I got and some of the values on some of them. Uh, I think some of these items are pretty unique, so uh, let's go ahead and get started. We're going to actually start with the best item here at the, at the top, and this is John Madden. This is an autographed football, autographed in silver. It is on a quality Wilson football. Nice signature in silver. You see, there is like a little smudge right there around the M area, but still, not a big deal. Uh, his autographs are kind of all over the place as, as far as the value, quite a bit more now that he passed away not too long ago. A couple of sales of footballs that I saw out there were over a thousand bucks, so I don't know what this one's gonna go for, but this one's actually not mine. This is my buddy B-Rap. So uh, B-Rap, uh, congrats on getting this football authenticated, and I hope you get a lot for this one. Another item that is also my friend, just these two items here, so that's why I'm doing his first, is this one here. We got Abdul Jabbar, also known as Kareem Abdul Jabbar, previously Lou Alcindor. And this is a little mini basketball. Now, for a full size autographed basketball that's authenticated by JSA, you're probably talking $250 to $300, somewhere in that range. But being on this little Las Vegas All Star game basketball, who really knows? I don't know what he's going to end up getting for this. Uh, Cream is getting up there in age. Uh, and this is a nice little signature on there. So uh, I don't know. What is this going to be? 100 bucks? 150 bucks? I don't know. What are you going to get for it, B? All right. Next up, we have a item that I got in a big collection of different autographed items. And this is a Jose Canseco starting lineup. And you can see it is autographed. See if I could get it without the glare. It's autographed right here on the plastic on the card part. Signed in black Sharpie. They put the authentication sticker right there on the back. Now, it is crumpled up a little bit. The The card itself is in overall good condition. We got a little bit of residue from where there is a price tag. But overall, this is a pretty good condition starting lineup figure. There's only one sold, and that one wasn't authenticated. It sold for like $15. There are a few out there currently for sale. And they're ones that are authenticated. They're about $60, $70 of what they're asking for. So I'll probably put it right in that same range, maybe... $59.99 plus shipping, and uh, we'll see if I can get that price. Just in case you're curious, what JSA does is they put the sticker on there, and then you also get this little authentication card. So here's all my little authentication cards from all of the signatures. We're going to go into some individual sports cards. A couple of these are mine for my personal collection. So we'll do those first. I'm a Buffalo Bills fan. So we got right here, we have a Steve Tasker rookie card. And let me take it out of the holder so you can see it without the glare. There's still some glare there. So autograph in blue. Got the authentication sticker on the, in the back. Now, these aren't worth a whole lot. I had to pay for the authentication. Maybe this goes for 20 bucks, 25 bucks, just because it is his rookie card and is authenticated. But it's for my own personal collection. So we're going to go ahead and add that in there. And along with uh, him, we also have quarterback Frank Wright. Autograph there on the card same year and his thing is on the back so got both those done again they're from my collection they're not being resold so went ahead and got those done while i was getting all these other items and one more card this one's going to be for resale mike modano and this is on his 91 opg premier rookie card one of the best players definitely best american players ever to play uh, nhl hockey so sign there in blue just show you the back and you got the sticker there I don't know what these are going for authenticated authenticated ones right now. Let me look it up real quick. Right, there's only one sold comp of one that's authenticated, but it was actually slabbed authenticated by one of the grading companies. This one's loose like this. It sold for $53. I think somewhere in that same price range. This is probably his best rookie card and it's autographed. So I'm going to put it at $49.99 plus shipping and I'll see if I can get that price. Okay, I did have an item get rejected, and I want to show that too because not all, every item passes through authentication, and it's this one here. It's Tim Salmon Autograph Baseball. Now, I'm pretty sure this is good. I've had quite a few Tim Salmon Autograph Balls through the years, and the reason that they did not pass it is the T, the Tim part, looked a little weird, and the spacing between the Tim and the Salmon was a little off. I'll show it here a little bit closer again. They said they, the Salmon part looked fine, but it was just a little bit different than most of the comps out there that they had, so they did not authenticate it. Not a big deal. I'm still gonna go ahead and list it. Now I'm not gonna be able to get as much as if it was authenticated by them. And I will just put in my description that JSA didn't like a couple things on it, but I believe it's still a good authentic ball. When they're authenticated, they go for about 40 bucks. So I'll probably do half of that, 20 bucks, and see if I can still get that price on eBay. Another baseball that did pass, this one actually came from a private signing. I knew this one was good and 
This is on a 2001 World Series baseball. We have Mark Grace. So this is when he played for the Diamondbacks, not when he played for the Cubs. Won the World Series here in 2001. Go D-backs. Wearing this today because we just beat the Dodgers last night. So my rule is if we, if we beat the Dodgers, I'm going to wear all my gear. So this autographed baseball, I haven't looked up the World Series ones in a while. Now, I've had them on gold glove balls and some other things before, and those definitely bring a premium. So again, let me look up real quick and see what the World Series baseballs, if there are actually any out there currently available. Here's what I found. There are a couple where they were Mark Grace autographed baseballs where he inscribed 01 World Series champs on this baseball. That one for $115. Now, this one doesn't have an inscription but I think I'm going to price it at the $100 price tag. I think that's the right amount to get for this because there's none out there. Mark Grace is very popular out here, so we're hoping to get $100 for that. Now, I did pay $25 for him to get that signed at the signing, and I have a little bit in the baseball, too. I think I bought the baseball for $10 quite a while ago. So I have about $35 into it, hoping to get $100. All right, everything else that I have here is a photograph, but this one is actually on a newspaper cut clipping and this is Warren Moon. I bought this at a local auction for just a couple dollars just because it's on this little flimsy piece of newspaper. But I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, it shows him with the Oilers, nice clean signature and you got the sticker down here. I don't know what Moon autographs are going for but I thought this one was pretty cool. Definitely unique being on this newspaper article. I like that it says Moon launch at the top too so we'll see. I don't know if it's a 30 or 40 or I don't think he's 50 bucks but we'll, we'll see what we can get. All right, these next two were actually thrift store finds. They were both in the like framed picture section of thrift stores. Now, first up, we have Marshawn Lynch. And of course, this is when he was with the Buffalo Bills. So it was even a little bonus, but it is inscribed up here. It looks like it says to RJ. And then if I can get it without the glare, we got Marshawn Lynch. This is pretty messy, pretty consistent with how he does it though. And of course, we got the little authentication sticker down there. It does have a Home Depot logo on here. So I'm guessing he did some signing when he played back with Buffalo with Home Depot where he did a signing. There's nothing on the back, but really cool. Uh, again, I don't know what it's going to go for. The personalization to RJ definitely going to bring the price down a little bit, but I still think it was a pretty cool autograph photo of Marsha. I bought this for $1.98 at the thrift store. So yeah, a pretty good deal on that one. All right, next one, same sort of thing. This was in a, in a frame at the Goodwill in the frame section. And this one is Bob Lilly, Hall of Famer for the Dallas Cowboys. Now he does sign quite a bit. He did include the Hall of Fame 80. And the signature is, we'll say slightly faded. It's not big and bold blue like it used to be. And we have the authentication sticker down there. Always love finding stuff like this at thrift stores. Now, I don't remember the exact price of it. I think it was like six or seven dollars in the frame. They didn't really realize that it was autographed or whatever. However they price it, they put it out there for pretty cheap. I thought it was a bargain to pick up for that price. All right, now here's a guy that signed probably more autographs than any player in MLB history. Bob Feller, uh, yeah, there's, there's so much of his autographs out there. There was definitely no shortage, even though he passed away several years back. And this is a really cool like art drawing of it signed right here in the middle in blue Sharpie. I forget the artist's name. It's right down here at the bottom. But really cool autograph of Bob Feller. Great picture, picture from the Indians way back in the day. And he's a Hall of Famer. So anytime you can get a Hall of Fame autograph authenticated, I think that's pretty neat. This might be the most valuable one of the group that I got. And this is Joe Montana. But as you're looking at it, you can't really see the signature too well. And that's because it's right there and it's faded a fair amount. It was signed in black. Authentication sticker right down here. And there was another authentication sticker right here from some other company. I don't know who it was, but I went ahead and wanted to get that JSA on it. So we got this one done. Let me look up real quick what JSA Joe Montana autographs are going for. This one will probably sell at the lower end just because it is fading a fair amount. From what I'm seeing, most of them are in like that $60 to $100 range. So I think I'm going to price that kind of in the middle. I'm going to look to see if I can see this exact photo out there anywhere to see if someone has this pose because it's definitely unique. It is a nice area where he signs so he can see his signature pretty well. A lot of times he'll sign over his jersey and the signature is kind of hidden. So yeah, we're going to list this one at $80. We'll do $79.99 plus shipping and uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, the last items I have to show you are all going to be the same. But before I get to them, I want to thank you for watching the video. If you're new, you're watching for the first time, I'd appreciate if you hit that subscribe button, help support the channel, help it grow a little bit. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up too. 
All right, this next one, it's a favorite of mine. I'm a Duke basketball fan, and Coach K just retired this year. Amazing career, Coach K. And these are three autograph photos, all of Coach K, all just a little bit different. I'm going to show this one here. I think this one's the best signed here in silver down on the bottom. It shows up really nice. I'm actually looking at that exact photo signed, sold for $149.99 and that one had plus shipping. Now, mine has a small little tear right here. So it's gonna bring it down in price a little bit. I'll have to see how many of them are currently out there available for sale. I'd like to get over hundred bucks, but worst case, I think I'm gonna get a hundred dollars for this one. And these two are similar. I don't think the, this one has the damage that the other one has. Maybe a little bend right here. And this one has like a little wrinkle on the corner. So I was able to get these at a good price. I bought them when they were unauthenticated. And like I said, I got them done by JSA this week. So I have three pictures of Coach K. I expect that I should get at least $100 each for them. All right, that wraps up for this video. Again, I hope you liked the video. Give it a thumbs up. Give it a subscribe. Thanks everybody for watching. I'll see you next time.